What's going on, everybody? Today we're doing a tier list for uh, different words, uh, you know, for semen, different names for semen, I guess. Yeah, you know, there's different uh, words, you know. Everyone knows the pretty mainstream one, like semen, cum, jizz, ejaculation, all that type of stuff. But, you know, I'm kind of wondering what other names, uh, more secretive names that uh, come has had in the past that I'm just not uh, super familiar with. Uh, I'm here to be educated and I'm here to spread this education uh, onto the masses. I expect this presentation that I'm giving everyone today to be played uh, throughout schools across uh, the United States, and actually across schools across the world. They need to know this information for, uh, you know, what to call that, you know, little liquid that's coming out of your cock. Anyways, let's get started. First one is baby batter. Uh, I, I definitely like the double B's here. Baby batter is like the name that semen goes by when it's supposed to be a superhero's alter ego. I think it's a pretty good one, a uh, pretty solid one to get started with baby batter. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this one a B. Next one is baby gravy. I like this one just a little bit more than baby batter, okay? Baby gravy, it, it all, it's like so close to rhyming in my brain just connects it like they do rhyme uh it doesn't unfortunately b and v don't rhyme i mean it's close but whatever baby gravy is a pretty fucking good one i'll give it an a next is cock snot you know i just don't really like the idea of you know what's coming out of my pp -pee is uh penis boogers but uh you know cock snot i'm just not a not a big fan of that one that just just kind of sounds gross maybe you think it's kind of funny but eh, it's it's I'm not, not a big fan of it. I'll give it a D. Cum. May I add that this is not the correct way to spell cum? Fuck that. Cream. There we go. You need a certain ingredient in order to make cream pies, and that ingredient is the cream. I think cream is a, it's a pretty basic one. You know, it's not going to be, you know, winning any awards for, you know, the best name for semen or anything like that. It's definitely not its brightest moment, but... It's, uh, it, it is far from the worst name to call cum, so I'll put it right in the middle there. Cream is a C. It's not bad. Next is cummies. Um, I kind of like the idea that, like, one individual sperm is a cum, and then cummies is, like, you know, a whole fucking army of them when you ejaculate the, uh, you know, the fucking army of cummies, uh, out of your pee-pee. Regardless, it's it's just not that great of a name. I mean, it's kind of okay, but I've just never been a big fan of it. Now, just the normal cum, I like it. It's spelt right. It's clean. It's it's like the shortest, well, it's tied for the shortest name on the list. It's straight. It's to the point. Straight, rock, solid, like my cock. And uh, I like it. Cum, good name. Solid name. Love it. Give it an A. Next, <laughs> Dick juice. I don't, I'm not familiar with this one. I, I've not heard it called uh, dick juice before, but I, I, I mean, I kind of like it, but the only thing with dick juice is that it might get a little confusing uh, with the other flavor of dick juice, which is just piss. Don't know about this one. Dick juice can get a little confused. Like what flavor of dick juice is it? Is it lemon or vanilla? We just don't know. Okay. If there's chocolate dick juice, then something is going fucking wrong with your body. But either way, Dick Juice, like the name. A little confusing, though. I'll give it a B. Next one is ejaculate. Ejaculate and evacuate. It's a pretty common uh, phrase. I think this one's pretty good. It's another really solid... It's pretty basic. Everyone knows it. But, like, it's a, it's a solid one. Like, it, there's a reason why this one is pretty well known. I like the word ejaculate. Uh, it's a pretty cool one. It's probably the longest word in the dictionary that I know how to uh, sp uh, pr pronunciate. Holy shit, pronunciate must, might be the longest word I know how to say. But either way, ejaculate, it's a good one. I like it. I'll give it a B. Next one is fuck spit. Oh, fuck spit? Good lord. Fuck spit just sounds gross. I don't, I don't like that one. That one sounds dirty. Fuck spit just sounds like some... <laughs> it, 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 it sounds like semen that is going to sexually assault somebody or domestically abuse someone. Like, it's just, I don't like it. I don't like the word fuck spit. I don't like, I'm, you're not going to catch me saying that one anytime soon. Not a big fan of fuck spit there. Jizz, pretty basic one. Yeah, everyone knows it. It's a popular one. It's a good one, short to the point. Love it. Jizz, you're going to get an A right there. Jesus Christ. Knuckle children? I have never heard this one. Where did this one come from? 
I'm convinced that whoever made this tier list just threw this one in there and was like, yep, this is a name. This is a mainstream name that everybody should know. I've never heard anyone call it Knuckle Children. This one just doesn't exist. I kind of like it, though. I'll give it a B. <laughs> All right, now we're getting into some of the Christmas festivities here. Legnog. I fucking love this one. And eggnog tastes like dog shit. So who knows? Eggnog might actually just be straight up ejaculation. But legnog is a really good one. I think that's our first S. God, you. this one made me proud. This one made me proud to be a man with a bunch of legnog swimming in my balls right now. It's been, uh, it's been 22 days since I last ejaculated since it's the middle of fucking November. I got a fuck ton of legnog just swimming around in my balls right now. My balls are the size of grapefruits. Next is load. It's a popular one. It's a short one. It's to the point. I like it. Load's a really good one right there. So yeah, load gets an A. I love it. Man chowder. Ugh, God, that sounds fucking disgusting. Ejaculation is like a soup, all right? It's a liquid. It's a soup. Man chowder makes it sound like it's fucking thick. There's a difference between, like, let's say, uh, tomato soup, which is what cum, or w which is the, uh, you know, the, 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 what the fuck word am I looking for here? Consistency. Cum is a consistency of, you know, of tomato soup. Man chowder makes it sounds like it's fucking Campbell's chunky. Man chowder, I think, would absolutely work if you have, like, some fucking kidney stones in there, okay? I don't think this one works right here. Man chowder, I really don't like the sound of it. I'm gonna give it an F. You know, it's creative. It's creative. I'll put it up there with cocksnot as a D. I like man milk. Man milk's a really good one right there. Men, you can't squirt milk from your titties, but we can squirt milk from our peepees. I'm gonna give that one an S. Navy. Well, Jesus Christ, I knew the Navy was gay as fuck, but like, what does this have to do with anything? I, I don't even understand this one. Nut butter. It, it made me laugh. I'm not a fan of it, but it made me laugh, so... I'll give it a B. Nut sludge. Ooh, ooh, great, gross. That's fucking gross. Jesus Christ. Nut, nut butter just sounds so much more classy than nut sludge. Nut sludge is like fucking ejaculating into a fucking dumpster and then putting it back in your balls and then nutting it again. That sounds fucking gross. Nut sludge is disgusting. I'll give it an F. Fuck that. Nut. Basic to the point. Everyone knows it. Love it. I love it too. I'm gonna give it an A. Rope. What the fuck is rope? No, fuck that. I never heard of that one. Seed. Uh, I know this is a pretty popular one. It's pretty mainstream. A lot of people say seed. I've just never personally been a big fan of it. Like there's just better words than it. It's fine, but it's not great. It's not going to be my go-to word when I'm talking about semen. I'll give it a C. It's okay. Just, it's just, it's my number one pick for most overrated word for semen. That's my hot take right there. Comments, fight me on this. I'll fight you back. Next is just semen. Nothing needs to be said. You see men, and I got see men coming out of my cock. Wait, no, that's not right. Skeet. I don't know this one. Sperm. Pretty basic. Uh, it's kind of overrated too, but it's a little better than seed, so I'll give sperm a B. It's fine. Splooge. Now, out of all of the other ones, like, let's say, like, man chowder, nut sludge, which make it sound like your cum is, you know, coming out of the cons as the consistency of, like, fucking dirty jello. Uh, splooge kind of has the name, like, maybe it's that consistency as well, but I just like it so much better. It's just... It's a very underrated name for cum, I think. It's maybe the most underrated. So Splooge, I really like this one. I'm gonna give it an A. I think it's I think it's up there with with one of the be with some of the best ones there. Spunk. What the fuck? Th spunk this one actually sounds like it was created by boomers. This must be what boomers called sperm. They're the only people who I can imagine using spunk for like semen. I cannot imagine anybody who's under the age of like nursing home age who would say the word spunk. I don't get it. Fuck that one. Swimmers. I understand this one. Just not a big fan of it. <laughs> I'll give it a D. And the last one is tadpoles. See, for this one, it's not even just a name for cum. It's just what they are, all right? Tadpoles are sperm. Sperm 
are tadpoles. All right, they're in the shape of it. All they do is they just swim up in the little vagina and in the, in the, well, wherever they go, and they just go on a fucking adventure to find eggs, okay? It's not bad. It's all right. I'll give it a C. Uh, this is the all-encompassing list of uh, all the different, uh, different names uh, for semen. Legnog and man milk were, were amazing. We got some good ones up here. And then these ones down here either just sound dirty or, you know, just fuck them. But yeah, that's the list.